And it's a little wet around here. Cut through some serious rock. Nice. And of course, once you get into a low and wet zone. <coughs> Mosquitoes are inevitable. Oh, it looks like somebody's been doing bits of limb lopping to try to enhance the utility of the thing as it stands now. And then we have surveyor marks of different kinds. Case. Don't know exactly what the status of implementation is. And there really isn't much material about all this out there. But there will be now. So that takes you back to Needham Junction. And our way forward to Dover and Medfield. Serious points beyond, such as Millicent Milford. like I'm already seeing some of the vernacular paths that might be going into the aforementioned town forest. These things are of interest to the rail fans I communicate. They haven't seen these. Gene Bowker and others, they're from the south. Maybe this is some peculiar designation that's common up here in Yankee land. I have no idea. <coughs> I just gather material and let the far more experienced and avid rail fans make sense of my findings. They'd probably love Eastern Massachusetts and weird old New England for this plethora of old mysterious ghost rail lines. Ooh, here's a new kind of chevroning. Jeez, Gene. Gene, I have no idea what this one is. <laughs> we came from that way. And we'd be going this way. 
pieces of sassafras limb lopped. This rail company still vaguely exists. Oh, there's an unusual oak species. Tell by the way the leaves are lobed. Have to look it up later. Unusual in the sense of not something I often run into. Might be perfectly part of this whole thing. Great moss carpet. More interesting little side trails to the presumed town forest. Really nice day. It's supposed to go up to mid 80s later. A nice breeze going on. And thus far, God's Viet Cong, the mosquitoes, are in abeyance. Another surveyor mark. So yeah, down, there's reputedly a small part of this rail company still carrying freight down towards Millis or Milford. Looks like we've got a kind of basic oak forest over here. Cajoled by a blue jay. Ah. Took a break. This increasingly it does appear to be the town forest. There's some great little cart paths over there. I think I will explore it further on my way back. This is our iron railway to Medfield and beyond. And this will get us back to the commuter rail options of Needham Junction. I've noticed a few of these diggings. I have a feeling they're probably 
tough toll to just figure out how toxic is the various remnants of commerce that may lie beneath the rail bed down in the ballast. <clears throat> this is commonly a concern in the commonwealth. It's odd, it doesn't seem to matter in Maine, but the commonwealth worries these things. If they convert this to a bikeway, they'll lavish a lot of money on it. They'll have to pull these rails, all these ties, and figure out any capping and mitigation strategies. Oh, there's another one of those white and blue chevrons. So to actually turn this into a, a fully paved bike path would be quite a project. What they do up in Maine, which I think is interesting, is a kind of hedge strategy. There's a 125 mile rail line in the down east coast along some of my favorite parts of Maine, Cherry Field and whatnot. And it was part of the Maine Central Railroad, the Calais Branch. We would call it Calais, maybe. And it went from Bangor all the way to Calais. 